Hello everyone, my name is Luminitsa and today I want to show you how you can make your life as a content creator or channel manager so much easier with Taja AI. More specifically, how you can get your entire SEO ready with one click and I mean one click for title, description, hashtags, tags and chapters. How you can create your next thumbnail inside Taj AI again with one click, how you can transform your long format video into shorts within minutes, how you can check the performance of your video and help not only optimize your newer videos but give a little boost to your older ones. Also in this video I'll give you a general overview of your account, how you can add, delete channels, how you can manage them and how you can take it all and again with one click you can upload everything to youtube without going through the copy pasting downloading and all of that one click to sync everything to your channel intrigued then let's get started Welcome to my favorite view, my Taj AI dashboard. And as you can see, it's very clear, straightforward, not much happening here yet. You can always change your view from light to dark mode. Let's go over here to account. Over here, you see your plan, if it's starter, semi-pro or pro, or also here from this page, you can start your free seven day trial. Another thing on this menu is manage channels and as you can see right now i have no channels that i can manage or analyze no i don't need to go and input manually all the data from my channel so how to add a channel to taj ai don't waste your time adding your channel to taj ai go straight ahead to optimizing your video and taj ai will take care of that But you might ask, okay, how do I do that? Let me show you. When you go to your main dashboard on the left side, you'll see this purple pink plus button. And when you click on it, you will see the field where you can paste the link to the video you want to optimize. A short note in here, the video that you want to optimize needs to be either public or unlisted, not drafted, not private, not scheduled, public or unlisted. Also make sure that you are uploading the link to the video. So this link, copy, paste, not the link to your channel or playlist or post anything, the link to your public or unlisted video. And technically from here, you can go just straight to optimize. You don't have to give any other information because Taj AI will get a full transcript of your video and get all the information from there. If your name or the name of your guests is commonly misspelled, you can add this information in add context. Another thing in here are filters. Here you have two options, tone and language. When you click on tone, you see multiple options. It is uplifting, clickbaity, professional, controversial, or minimalistic. You can cho choose one, two, all, or none of these. And this will set the tone for your title. Another filter that you will see is language. And this option is for people that have their video in one language but they they want their seo text to be in a different language for example my video is in english but i want my title and descriptions to be in german if that's the case i can go ahead and click on german here there is an extensive list in here but if i want the languages to match so my video is in english and i want my descriptions and titles to be in english too i don't have to click on anything just leave this blank now you know how to use it but again you don't have to and for the purpose of this video let's actually clear all filters and optimize this video without giving Taj AI any additional information the optimization is fully ready and the first thing that you see is the full transcript of your video then you get not only one but five options for your titles with a score and a title that you want to select. Also down here you can see how your title will look 
on YouTube. So you can choose your title not only based on the score, but also on the aesthetics of it. When you scroll down, you see your title again and the description that matches your title. As you can see, it is also indicated in the first line of the description, which we all know is very SEO friendly. You can see hashtags in here, chapters, tags, and basically everything that I need to publish on YouTube. But let's say that all of them are cool. However, nothing really clicks. Maybe I want a different tone so I can go back and change the tone in here or language for whatever reason. Or I just want to see more options. I want more choice. I can just go over here and in between transcript and titles there is a button reoptimize titles that i don't use very often i have to be honest but let's say for this video i need more options not one more but again five more options and reacting to scandalous crew story oh this is perfect i really like that one also aesthetically this one is short and crisp and with emojis just like i like it although again i didn't give it any extra context how i want things to be done now again i was as i was telling you before the descriptions always are made based on the title so i have a new description too but let's say that okay now i'm super happy with the title but i don't like the description although that's not true i really want to show you how although again zero context in here taja picked up my name and my sister's name and the whole context of it but let's say i don't like the description i can click on this continue button next to the title and my entire description chapters and tags everything will be re-optimized for my taste if i don't like any of the options or someone told me you know this is a great title the titles that i'm using they don't even have to be from taj ai let's say that my title that i really like is drama stories from reddit when i click on continue taj ai will take even the title that i chose and it will create an amazing description and tags and chapters and hashtags everything based on that as i was mentioning before to me as a content creator it is very important to still have control over the process i don't want my titles and descriptions to sound robotic or obviously ai i'm using this to save my time it's still stay connected with my audience and that's why i really appreciate that taj ai gives me all these ideas for titles descriptions that i can copy paste or better than that i'll show you later how you can use one click for that if i don't like something taj ai doesn't impose it on me i can still fully customize change my tone out of my little words that my audience know that i would use in the description and make it a collaborative work rather than just outsourcing it to ai I think we can all agree that AI is getting really good at image generation. You can create your next thumbnail with one click without thinking too much about anything else. Right under your text, you will see the thumbnail generator. Now you can have your captions on and off. Different people have different preferences. Let's keep them on and click on generate. And here you have it. Within a few seconds, I already have YouTube thumbnails. And because it's Taj AI, obviously it gives you not only one option, but three. Three very different options that you can pick from. Can we take a second to please appreciate that? Although, again, I didn't give Taj AI any context. You saw me. I didn't write a word or give any hints about anything. Taj AI knew that the video features two girls look at this they're two on the couch and if you look at my video my sister and i are on a couch too i think taja is on to something and again it has all these options this one has reddit the reddit logo on it to be honest you can just take this thumbnail use it on your video or as you can see sometimes sometimes ai still has a little bit of troubles with 
tax. And although I know that the entire AI community and Taj AI is working to improve it, I'll download this one. And here's a little party trick. I use Canva and their AI features to make a little text changes effortlessly. I go to Canva, then YouTube thumbnail. When I need to click on the picture, added photo, and then there is this amazing tool on Canva. It's called Grab Text. You just click on it, wait for a few seconds, and Canva already knows where the text is. What I want to change is this one. There are many, many options how you can play with it. I think you, these thumbnails can be used as they are, or you can use them as inspiration. For example, I might like this one, and I will just take it as a vision board. Many of you would agree that the biggest pain is looking at this blank canvas and having no idea where to start with your thumbnail. So either as a vision board, inspiration, just to get some elements or take it as it is. Taj AI thumbnails are here for you. And obviously, obviously, because it's Taj AI, <laughs> if you want to re-optimize, regenerate, you can click on this and get more and more options. Before we click on this magical thing to YouTube that you'll be blown away by, what if I tell you that Taj AI will help you not only with your long format videos, but your short format too. How cool is that? I am at the same dashboard that you saw already for a while, and I just need to go to the next sub generate shorts. I don't even need to go to a different page. A little remark in here. You, Taj AI team, I, everyone wants your shorts to go viral but therefore your long format video that you are generating shorts from needs to be at least five minutes long of course the longer the better but at least five minutes long this is the minimum length of context that the algorithm know needs to find identify and Create the best little stories, paragraphs, something that will be interesting and value providing to your audience. Also, we've all seen those stories that are just attention grabbing. They have that element of facial expressions or reactions that want you to watch that short till the end. Therefore, make sure that the video that you are using to generate shorts has that element in it. It has a human face, it has expression, and the best videos that work for this are motivational videos or podcasts, educational videos, product reviews. As you can see, I'm still here. I didn't go do laundry or prepare dinner because this whole process took just a few minutes. And if you ever made shorts by yourself, you know that this process takes hours of looking through footage, trying to find good moments, writing the captions, then getting this amazing split screen. How cool is that? So yeah, now I have four shorts. Let's look at this one. It's 50 seconds. It's of my sister and me and Oh, look at this. Look at the all the captions and I really really like the split screens because we are both very emotionally intense <laughs> as you can see in here. It already gave me the perfect title with the hashtag shorts and short videos and it's copied and I also have the all the hashtags for the description and the tags. It's just perfect and as always if I wanted to do something else i can regenerate it i can download it because let's say i want to use it on tiktok or instagram i can also have this whole video without any captions but i obviously like them and to the design i really like that they are options but they are not overwhelming because as you could have guessed from this video your girl is picky <laughs> but it, I can get over one. <laughs> so I really like that there are different styles that are proven to work. It's not just styles. It's the styles of Alex Hermosi or Ali Abdal or Mr. Beast. So these are styles that are proven to work, which I think is amazing. And I can change the 
uh, color of the text or the shadow. I actually like the length. I think 50 seconds is great. Um, but let's say I want it to start later like this. And finally, I was mentioning this feature again and again, again and again, because I love it. And now I can finally show you the full potential of it. Remember, I was telling you that you don't need to go copy, paste, change tabs for everything. You can just with one click upload everything to YouTube. Well, let me show you something. First of all, shorts, because we're already on this dashboard and we all love shorts. If I click to upload to YouTube, magic will happen. I don't need to change tabs. I don't need to do anything. By one click, this video will go all the way from Taja to YouTube in seconds. Great, my video is there. Let's go see proof. It's in here. It's under unlisted because I can either schedule it for later or I can make it, make it public right away. If you go back to your main dashboard and click on the video that you've been working on, you can see all the changes. Check again if you're happy with everything. And right at the bottom, there is sync to YouTube. Once you click it, you will see this window that you need to link your Taj AI account to your YouTube channel. This and only this way Taj AI can upload things for you. If you don't want to do that, you can still go with the copy pasting, but I like to optimize my workflow. So I'll just go ahead, link my YouTube channel. Here you have it. My channel is linked, which will give me multiple perks, but one of which is now that I've successfully linked my YouTube, I can sync all my work to YouTube. Let's go to studio and here you have it. You have the title, the description, chapters, tags, here are the tags, everything, every all the changes that I have done, they're already here. I don't have to click on anything else. And the beautiful part is I have to link my channel only once. So from now on, I don't need even that step. I can go straight ahead to upload to YouTube or sing to YouTube and it will happen effortlessly. Speaking of channels, do you remember at the very beginning I showed you a dashboard with your channel? Then let's go back and explore it a little bit more. Go to the top right corner, manage channels and click on the channel that you have just added. And here you have everything about your channel, the name, subscribers, number, also a channel analysis. Tajaya looks through your viewers and who are they? All the analytics and can give you the persona. This is the person that you are creating your content for. If you knew this before, great. If not, now you know who your audience is. Also, what keywords are associated with your channel or topics, YouTube things that you are creating content in. So for me, it's lifestyle or sociology. Here are my highest performing content and obviously you can see this by the views and the score, top shorts, everything is in here. Also, if I want to ask Taja AI a few questions like what is the optimal length for my video or analyze the difference between my best and worst video, I can click on one of this. Also on this page, you can link and unlink your YouTube channel and delete channel. Now this button will not delete your YouTube channel from YouTube. Don't be afraid. It will only delete the channel from your Taja AI dashboard. However, keep in mind, once you delete the channel from Taja, not from YouTube, from Taja, all the videos that you've optimized will be deleted too. So you'll have to re-optimize them all over again. Remember at the very beginning, I was telling you that Taj AI will help you not only with your new videos, but also with your older ones, because I'm sure you've created great content in the past, but maybe at the time Taj AI didn't exist yet or you didn't hear about it yet. So now with this amazing new tool, you can SEO optimize even them. And you don't have to go to YouTube and search and decide which one to choose. No, no, no. I'm telling you, you don't need to leave this window because Taj AI will help you identify and optimize them. How? 
let me show you that too. Again, not clicking anywhere away. I'm on my channel. Right next to overview, you see backlog boost. And these are the videos. They are five. They're always five that Taj AI looked through and realized that great videos, but the SEO on them is not as strong. So I can go and either revive the video, let's say this one, and it's the same process. The V the link to the video is already in here. I don't have to copy paste anything anymore. I just click on optimize and then the rest of the process you already know. Or another option is suggest a new video. Let's say that Teja thinks that this video could use better help, but I actually really like it. So I can click on suggest new video and it will give me a newer one in here. And last but definitely not least feature that makes data-driven people like me super happy is the growth stats. Let me show you what that is. 72 hours after you upload and optimize a video with Taja AI, you will see this beautiful mark on the top right corner, growth stats ready. When you click on that, in a matter of seconds, you get a complete report of how your video is doing. Creator Studio is great, but it can get a little bit overwhelming sometimes. So if you just want to have a general overview, very clear of, okay, how are my views? What are my comments? Is this video performing better or worse? And how much better or worse than other videos? Also, you'll get Taja's tips. So yes, Taja will look into your da data and understand what you did well and not so well and give you some pieces of advice. Also, it will explain to you what are the best practices in terms of click-through rate or comments and also content best practices. So this is for people that want to know their data, they want to see the performance, but sometimes are getting a little bit overwhelmed by the Creator Studio. I hope that this video was useful to anyone who tried Taj AI but had any questions around some features, how to best use them or get the best out of them. If you didn't try Taj AI yet, I hope that this video proved you that it is definitely worth it. However, if you don't trust me, go ahead. Taj AI offers a seven day trial to anyone, cancel any time during those seven days. But something tells me that you will not want to cancel on that. This being said, if you still have any questions or any suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Taj AI is very, very responsive. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Taj AI channel to get more useful content like this. See you next time. Bye-bye.